Hey everyone, Domino's reported second quarter 2023 earnings results. So in this video, I will review those figures. I will also update my recommendation on Domino's stock. The valuation is getting kind of rich. I'm going to let you know if I am upgrading, downgrading, or keeping my recommendation for Domino's stock the same. So you're not going to want to miss that. Stay tuned and let's get right into it. Revenue of 1.024 billion was down from revenue of 1.065 billion in the same quarter the prior year. Domino's is having difficulty amid the economic reopening, not so much due to falling customer demand, but more so because of difficulty finding enough labor. The company's having a hard time finding enough drivers, more specifically, to deliver all of these pizzas that people are in uh, demand for. Because when it when economies reopen, all of a sudden Domino's had to compete with all of these other businesses that now wanted people to work. You're thinking about hotels, you're thinking about Starbucks and locations like that, that want people there in person. That wasn't so much the case when we were in lockdown. So that's the side of the equation that Domino's is struggling with. Not so much consumer demand, but more so on the labor side of the equation. Diluted earnings per share increased to $3.08. This was up from $2.82 year over year. Domino's added 197 net new locations in Q2 to reach 20,205. This is another area where Domino's is having difficulty with labor. Because there's labor shortages, Domino's is having difficulty adding new locations because to add a new location, you got to have people to hire to man those locations. And the shortage is making franchisees less interested in opening these locations. Same store sales growth of 0.1% in the US and 36 international. Remember, same store sales growth stands for growth from locations that have been open for at least 12 months. It measures if demand is growing at existing locations and it doesn't look like there is much growth in the US, right? I mentioned that they're not suffering from demand. What it shows is that they experienced a huge boost during the pandemic and it's been flat, right? So it didn't go up and then come back down. It's been up and then it's kind of flatlined at this higher level. Something that's a little troubling right now is Domino's has 4.945 billion in long-term debt. This was down from 4.967 billion, but the rate of interest on debt has increased substantially in the market. So when Domino's needs to refinance this debt, if interest rates don't come back down, they're going to need to pay higher rates of interest, which can be troubling. At the current rate of interest, Domino's generates enough cash flow to service this debt. It's just going to increase. What concerns me is just like down the line, let's say 6 to 12 to 18 months down the line, even 24 months, if interest rates stay this elevated and this debt starts coming due, with each refinance, Domino's is going to have to refinance at a higher rate. And that's going to hurt the bottom line because of the higher interest expense. So I'm kind of flagging this as a concern for many companies that have that were benefiting from the low cost of interest rate. And they kind of leverage themselves effectively to lower their cost of overall cost of capital. But now that benefit is kind of going away if interest rates stay elevated. So I'm just making a note of it. One more thing I wanted to discuss is between the quarter, Domino's made an announcement at made a deal with um, Uber Eats. It was going to have its menu items on the Uber Eats platform. The stock jumped by 12% after that announcement, which was a bit surprising to me because it didn't address the biggest concern for Domino's, which is the labor shortage. Uber, Uber will not be delivering those orders that are placed for Domino's on Uber's website. Domino's wanted to retain responsibility for re, uh, deliveries. In my opinion, that's because they're concerned about quality. I know you've all experienced Uber deliveries where people bring you the food and it's cold and it's all messy. I think Domino's wanted to retain control over that so that they can retain quality deliveries and not diminish their brand. So I was a little surprised that the stock price jumped 12% in, in response to that news. I thought it was a bit uh, more than needed. So 
to update my recommendation on domino stock i'm gonna give it another downgrade i'm gonna give domino stock another downgrade i've already downgraded the stock once this year it used it started off the year as one of my top stocks to buy one of my top 23 stocks to buy i downgraded it off my list because domino's downgraded their long-term growth prospects earlier in the year and now with these earnings results combined with the elevated valuation i'm downgrading down domino stock again from a buy now i'm putting it on the borderline between a buy and a hold so another downgrade here for domino's stock all right but that's all i've got for this video thank you so much for watching I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.